I'm in the process of doing now is emptying all of the wood out of the four peak of steel melody that we got stored at the house uh, that ended up getting stored here when we moved out of the house. I want to try and get get some more work done on this boat if we can so that we can get her closer to launching stroke selling um, and uh, and part of that process is getting uh, some more work done on the four peak. I'd like to be outside welding but the weather's not good enough for that so uh, uh, make hay while the sun shines and uh, do stuff indoors when it doesn't. Right, this is weird, being back here in the forepeak of Steel Melody. And what I would like to try and do is I would like to try and uh, tidy up some of the timber work and finish off some of the cladding in here. Uh, all the metal work is done. Um, I don't know if you saw, saw the previous episodes, but there's nothing left to do metal work now. Um, uh, there's, you know, some, some bits to tidy up at the back, but everything here, I've just had a look in the lockers at the front and it's, uh, I'll show you actually, uh, it's, it's looking absolutely incredible. Have a quick look. So this is the locker. Um, you've got the chain locker in there and this is the forward locker where there was a water tank, which we fully treated and painted out. Let me show you in here. There you go. That is spectacular. So that's all perfect locker on this side those pipes are the filler and vent pipes for the water tanks so it's all fine isn't it yeah look at that it's all perfect isn't it that's just painted out in uh, in the black um, coal tar epoxy lovely so so metal work wise everything's done now up here um, but I just want to kind of finish off some of the woodwork if I can, uh, get a little bit more progress on that. Because we've got all this timber, it makes it impossible to work in here when it's full and it makes it impossible to show anybody the boat when it's full. So rather than have it on the beds, let's just get it on the walls. <laughs> happening aboard Ocean Melody today? Not a lot. <laughs> um, I planned for a productive day but we have a very cranky six months old today. Oliver, I think he's teething. Um, so I'm going to try and get the head ceiling painted in a minute but Jack has done all his schoolwork today and he has been whittling a wand. Wow that's really cool Jack. So yeah while I've been dealing with a cranky Ollie Jack has been whittling this wand. Can you show me what it started as? Basically that. A stick? Yeah, a stick. Birch? Birch. That we found on our walk the other day. So he's making a wand 
And that is really, really cool. Um, I wish I didn't do it so short now, but... Well, you can make another one. Can you show me your war wounds? A, a war Did you get wind. a war wound? Yeah, my war wound. Right, let's see what's up with this cranky baby. Ollie, you dropped all your toys. Are you gonna get? Are you gonna let mummy? Oh look, he's quite. He's in a Harry Potter outfit. While yeah, Jack's yeah. making ones. So I've managed to get Ollie to sleep. So it means that I can carry on working in here. I've given the head ceiling a bit of a sand down, um, but I really want to get a fresh um, coat of paint on the head ceiling. Um, just freshen the place up. Eventually, we want to take all this panelling down and insulate behind it and run it through a planer thicknesser and stuff like that. But in the meantime, it's just making the boat more habitable and a nicer place to be. Things like that can happen along the way, even if it's in years and years to come. I don't want to start just ripping the boat apart, so just one, one little step at a time. It's not the easiest place to film. Right, I'm all ready to paint. I've um, sanded this back a bit. Um, it's not the best light in here, but hey ho, hopefully you can see what I'm up to. Let's move this nice mirror because this is vanting on the wall. I want to get it ruined. I'm off this afternoon to house at a farm, so I'm going to take all my washing, <laughs> do all my washing while I'm there for the weekend. Oh, that's so nice. That looks really clean. The problem is, I'm not going to want to go now. I'm going to want to stay here and paint all the ceilings in the whole boat. It's gone from a horrible shade of white to a nice shade of white, so you probably can't see any difference, but it does look nice and clean, it smells better in here. Dickies is always an interesting place boat-wise. <clears throat> it's always an interesting place here boat-wise. And this thing they've been working on, uh, one of the yards here has been working on for ages, is quite a spectacle. Obviously the, the, the tin roof structure over the top is a is a temporary thing, but I've never seen it move, and it's moving. Whoa! Look at that. I don't know where they're taking it. It's got some weight on. God, that's got some some inertia, hasn't it? I bet that weighs a lot. That that's got to be eighty tons. That thing. It's massive. It's kind of sailing yabba size. I reckon that's 70, 80 foot long, at least. It, no, exactly, yeah. There's not a lot wrong. He's going, doing, doing nice. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, really? Watching us on YouTube. Are you going to be on YouTube now? <laughs> that's right. She knows I'm here. That's all right, then.
So there you go, uh, with these reclaimed floorboards, and I think they're Sapele or Oroco or something like that. Uh, I've got them on the wall. They were all covering pile high on this bed and there's still more to go. Um, but uh, I've got them on the walls and they look fine. <laughs> I'm not happy with the window frames. Um, uh, they're done and they're up, they're okay. Uh, they could be a lot better, but they're, they're not gonna fall off. And, but I think they could be prettier and I'd like to take them home and, you know, uh, fettle them a little bit more, but... Okay, I'm gonna stop myself. <laughs> Those window frames are not okay. Uh, I was sort of waffling then, saying, oh, you know, it's okay, the window frames are fine and they're good enough for me. And then I was looking at them thinking, no, they're not. They're awful. They're just terrible. So before I do anything else, I'm going to take them off and I'm going to do them again because I brushed them and they're flipping terrible. I'll sort of... I'm going to embarrassingly show you. Okay, it's a blink and you'll miss it thing because I only want to show you for a second because I'm embarrassed about them. But look, there's one. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. And there's the other. And that's, oh, let me just tilt you up a bit. And that's awful as well. So, so please don't look too closely, but I'm going to take them off and redo them because even I, with my tolerance of less than perfection, I'm not comfortable with that, it's flipping terrible. Uh, right, let's do it then. So instead of just cobbling them together, I'm actually gonna take some measurements and try and do something a little bit more like a half decent job. So this is the perfect shape. Oddly enough, I, I don't have a pair of compasses with me. And I've searched the boat and there isn't a pair of compasses here, but that's okay. What I've discovered is that this bucket is the precise same radius as the inside of the window. And I mean, it's exactly the same. It's a 17, 17 centimeter, 170 millimeter radius. So that's perfect. So this inside edge, that I've drawn on the graph paper here is perfect. And I was gonna make the wind, uh, the, the frame 30 mil wide, but that's just not quite enough overlap. I feel like 50 mil wide would be better. So I'm gonna make another one of these and get it right before I start cutting wood, which is what I didn't do the other day. I just bodged it the other day and, and I am the king of bodging, but it was just shocking, wasn't it? Sorry. And you always feel like you've properly paid attention, you saw everything, you, you were taking in all the information. The story side of things is, seems to be part of just our, our, our makeup. The story that we've been telling of how to move forward in life, that's all about a dialogue with the external world. That's what we're getting our cues from, people showing us what we need to be successful, what we need to look or act in a certain way that denotes moving forward and progress. And we do that for the first half of life, and then something happens around midlife where actually the project shifts to taking the cues from within rather than from the outside world. And I think then that's a good time for priorities to shift from what will give me success in the future to what is actually what, what might bring pleasure and satisfaction and meaning now in the, in the present. I think that's a, a useful thing to lean into towards the second half of life. Yeah, that's much nicer. Obviously, I'll be putting the, the measurements onto the wood. This is just to make a, a reasonably accurate paper template so that I can see what the frame's actually going to look like. I know that looks quite chunky in paper, but I think it needs to have enough depth 
in it to cover the metal frame as well. I think that's much better. Good. Happy with that. I I'm, I'm probably already said this, but do remember all this wood is reclaimed timber. So it's got imperfections and knots and screw holes and nail holes in it and I'm good with that. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I think it actually adds something to the character and the history of the piece of wood. I'm not going out buying loads of hardwood. It's not sustainable. It's not good for the environment to be chopping down those kind of trees. Uh, but I am all in favour of reusing wood that rather than it just getting burnt. So um, I'd rather do this both from a financial consideration and from a load, loads of reasons. Uh, so let's go and find a whole load of wood uh, that will make up these frames. I've got it all in the saloon, but let's see what bits I can get that are 50 mil wide. This just literally like, it's like literal sparks flew out of this. I don't know whether I got like sawdust in there or something, but that's dead. I'll try changing the fuse in a bit, but no, that, that smells like a dead thing. You know, that kind of dead thing smell? Not, not organic dead thing, like electrical dead thing. So, um, so I'm going to press on, but I think sanding may become a, a manual affair from now on. I'm no Aladino. It's uh, it needs to be functional and not as dreadful as the previous edition. That's much better. I'm much happier with that. They're not master craftsman kind of stuff. This is tally what, not tally ho. But it's um, but it's fine, isn't it? It's some mahogany window frames in a steel boat. Right, I'm much happier with that. I've been round with a bit of wood dye as you've seen, um, uh, some teak dye and I've freshened the place up a little bit. There's still more fettling to do in here with some fine detail work and sanding and a few bits of trim and all that kind of stuff that I can put in place. But broadly speaking, this cabin is fine. I can, uh, I can comfortably live and sleep in here myself and I'm happy to move on to other areas of the boat and turn my attention to other areas of the boat. And when the two bits are trimmed for these wall panels, the, uh, the, de the, um, the ceilings as they're correctly called, but the wall panels uh, tr crop up, I will stick them on and I'm sure they will. And if they don't, I'll have to make some new ones. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Um, Thanks very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, please do leave us a like and a comment. We always love to read them. We do try to reply to as many as possible. If you do want to support us on Patreon, uh, the names are on the screen for all of our amazing patrons now. Thanks, guys. Love you lots. And uh, you can go to paypal.com forward slash sailing melody if you want to support what we're doing. Uh, and as I say, um, Steel Melody sort of notionally is available to buy if you were really interested. She's not listed for sale. She's not on Apollo Duck. She's not on Boats and Outboards. She's not advertised anywhere. Um, but I'm sort of saying to our followers on YouTube, if you're 
interested, uh, give us a shout. And if not, we'll carry on doing what we're doing, plugging away and getting her in the water before we actually, or in the water or in a position to go in the water before we actually um, stick her up for sale. I think that's the plan anyway, uh, unless something bizarre happens. Anyway, there you go. Um, see you next week, guys. I hope you have a fantastic one. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.